Colpo numero 8 del Milan. Apparently, it is done. Yunus Musa will become a Milan player. Apparently, a uh, little details left to uh, finish out, but he should be in Milan early next week, probably Monday, to do physicals and sign his contract. 20 million euros plus three of bonuses, two that are very achievable, one that is a bit harder. Uh, Valencia wanted 25 million euros. Milan didn't want to go over 20. At the end, they find a way to meet in the middle. Uh, guys, this possible because of Rebic going to Besiktas. Why? Because Besiktas getting uh, Rebic, even though he left for free, frees about a bit over 10 million euros for Milan, which they were then able to reinvest on Musa. Uh, guys, Musa, known for his uh, ball-holding abilities, right? He can move around with the ball. It's good to bring out the play. Not an offensive player by any uh, stretch of the imagination. Only two goals in his first three seasons with Valencia. Last season, 33 appearances. Uh, no goals, two assists. Very central to the Valencia project. A very important player. Only 20 years old, over 40 appearances for U.S. Yes, he is a U.S.-born player. Does he take an extra comunitario spot? Absolutely not. Why? Because he has the Italian passport and lived in Italy for a very long time. And so Milan complete the Centro Campo with Musa. Could there be another Corpo di Mercato for the Centro Campo? Honestly, I don't think, but you never know, guys. Uh, I think they're going to concentrate for the uh, forward position, maybe a left back, maybe a right back. We'll see what happens. Uh, Messias probably on the way out as well. Besiktas very interested. They're talking Baloture with Bologna. Upset with Baloture because he didn't accept the Fulham offer. We'll see what happens, guys. But it's shaping up. And this Milan team, although it's going to take a bit of time for everybody to gel together a lot of new faces. A lot of people are comparing this Mercato with the uh, Fassone Mirabelli Mercato. Right, le cose formale. Every week there was a new signing, a bit like what uh, Furlani and Mokanda are doing. However, I think these players are very functional to this Milan team, and they are what they need. Right, so they needed to complete the centro campo after losing Tonali. They went to get Loftus Cheek, Reinder, and uh, Musa. Of course, Benassar will be out till November. Even though he's going to come back, it's probably going to take some time for him to be uh, fully prepared and fully ready to play uh, the whole 90 minutes and so reinforcing that Centro Campo was a big big uh, part of this Calcio Mercato the right hand side Polisi Chukwaze done they went to get Okafort for the front they probably get somebody else we'll see what will happen with Colombo will he stay will he go and of course all the other ones Messias, Adli, De Catelar, name them We'll see what happens, guys. But so far, a great Calcio Mercato for Milan. Let me know what you think. Write in the comments. Like and subscribe.